Every insurance company recommends a homeowner has a home inventory, but most don't because they think it will take them too long. Let's learn how AI makes this extremely easy to create a home inventory. First, a couple of reasons why you should have one. One, you want to have the right amount of coverage to actually rebuild the structure of your house called dwelling coverage, as well as your personal property, especially if you have high value items, small tools, wine collections, uh, electronics, etc. If disaster or fire does strike, you're going to be much better off if you have a home inventory to file the claim. You pre it's a good idea to get um, an inventory of your equipment and appliances from a maintenance perspective, and some people will even use it as part of their estate plan over how they want to distribute their personal property. Now, the four key elements of a home, home inventory is a list of all the indoor and outdoor rooms and spaces in your home. You want to get photos, videos, or both. You want to have an itemized list, and you want to have an estimated value of those items. So now if we go over to Homes Auto, it's a digital home management platform that does lots of different things to manage all the data about your house in one place. Here, when you go to inventory, it has its own dashboard. And when you click on all spaces, the first thing you notice is as soon as you create an account with Homes Auto, it's automatically going to predict, based on the size of your home, all the rooms and all the items inside each room, which minimizes your uh, time to create a home inventory. If you click on dining room and click on the items tab here, you can see you can see the typical items you would see in a dining room. Of course, you can add new items. You can hit the select menu and click the white circle and then hit delete at the bottom if you want to delete certain items. You can also click on the videos tab and actually create a video but I'm going to go back to a spaces here where we have uploaded two photos in the living room and by the way I'm demonstrating this off a desktop but if I was on a mobile phone I could also access my Homes Auto account via mobile phone and get the exact same functionality which is where you're sort of taking photos on the fly um, by accessing it via mobile device. So if I go back to the living room and click on items, notice with this example, I've deleted all the default items, but I have two photos that I've uploaded of the dining room from two different angles. Again, in the upper right-hand corner, I can hit the select menu, and now I can hit which, which photo I want to process. I click on that first photo, and I hit Zada AI. Now, this is where the magic happens. Based on that one photo, the Zada AI tool is going to go through and try to detect all the objects that it finds in, in that photo. It's going to categorize them as either a personal property or a fixed asset. It's going to um, also come up with an estimated uh, value of those things, as well as an overall description of these things. So you can see it found the love chair, an armchair, a sofa, a coffee table, end table, floor lamp, pretty much found almost everything inside the photo. Now, this is a huge helper, but it's not 100% foolproof, right? You're still responsible for checking on those things. And now you can actually save this to um, your Homes Auto account by clicking the uh, cloud button where it says save inventory. And again, if it got something wrong, you can come in here and edit the value, or if it, del if it, it misinterpreted something, you can actually delete it. And I'm going to click down here and click on save. And again, I can come down in here and say I want to pick another photo or I want to review the inventory. And now I'm getting a view of the living room. And now you can see all the items that it's identified. And yet I still have more ability to change the value of the love seat. If you really think you spent 950 bucks on it, you just quickly edit that. And you can certainly add, edit, and delete as you go. Now, if I go back to all spaces and click on the living room and click on photos, I could again process that other photo from the other angle if there are other objects that I want to. But what I really want to do is now click on the family room here. And if you go through the process of taking, sorry, the, I want to go to the kitchen. <laughs> sorry, I set this demo up. I want to go to the kitchen where I have items where sometimes you want to take close up items of individual objects. So you can see here I've taken a close-up item of essentially a barcode and a plate of a small appliance. And I can click on the Zada AI tool directly from here. And the Zada AI tool, when it has very short close-ups, especially if it has text in the photo, it's going to try to identify the brand as well as the model and the serial number. Now you can see how this has come back and basically identified that this is my Vitamix blender, a little bit on the high end, probably pretty close to the estimated value of what I paid for it, but it's also put in the model and serial number. And now again, I can hit that save button and save all that information and go back and review that item if I want to in closer detail and make other individual edits there. 
Again, this is going to work for so many different things inside your home, right? Here's a picture of my hot water heater, but it's really just of the main um, label. I click on Zada AI. Now it's going to take that. And again, it's detecting the text and it knows that it is a, um, you know, pacemaker water heater, about 800 bucks, make model serial number. It's even identified the size. And now I can save that information. So again, it's really up to you over which photos you want to process. But if I go back to my spaces section here, you can imagine walking through the 10 or 15 rooms in your house, taking one or two photos, processing that via AI, and you've got a fantastic inventory in probably less than 25 minutes. If I go up to the upper right and click on reports, you start to get to see some dashboards of, uh, of your inventory. You can click on inventory PDF, hit download. You've created a PDF of that inventory. Send that over to your insurance company, have them review it to make sure that you're properly insured. In summary, you see how AI makes it so easy and quick to create a very good home inventory for insurance and estate planning and maintenance purposes. If you would like to learn more, just go to homesauto.com, sign up and actually test this out yourself.